Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Okay, so you were here just for a standard assessment in your annual physical exam. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. And you just plum fainted. You did. In the middle of the blood pressure part of the exam. So it's kind of a mystery. We've been keeping track of your vitals. The nurse that was giving you the exam, luckily she uh, was able to catch you on the way to the floor. So you didn't get concussed. Nothing bad happened, but we're not sure quite what to do. So we decided to admit you. You're here in the overnight wing. This is your room. You got a little comfort animal here. She's playing on the floor. Okay, because you marked in your chart that you like dogs. Okay, she's a little dog, not a big dog. Is that okay? Okay, so she might come up and visit you, but she kind of does her own thing, so don't worry about it. Okay, so just to get a better idea of what happened, I'm going to ask you your first and last name, your date of birth, and then we'll go from there. So can you verify that information for me? Okay, very good. And date of birth? Great, all right. Any allergies to medications? Okay, penicillin. Okay. Okay, any family history of blood disorders? Okay, asthma, epilepsy, seizures, lung disorders, breast disorders. Okay. Now, do you have any family history of narcolepsy? Have you ever fainted like this before? Oh, you have? Okay, when was that? That was about five years ago. Remember what happened? Okay, it was just a random day. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just go with a full head-to-toe examination on you today. What we were doing earlier was abbreviated, but right now we're really gonna take our time. Okay, so how do you feel right now? You relaxed? All right, sweetheart, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate that pain? Okay, anything that's bothering you right now, headaches, stomach ache, are you sweating, dizziness? Okay, how's your vision? All right, any numbness or tingling sensations? No, okay. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna start by taking your bottles and then we'll just move on to the sensitivity tests. I'm gonna do an abdominal examination on you. I'm gonna feel your organs. We're gonna look at your toes, everything, okay? So whatever plants you had, uh, hopefully they can be canceled because this is quite important. Okay, so just relax. I'm gonna listen to your heart and your lungs. Okay, so just breathe normally for me for now. Okay, good. Everything sounded normal so far. I can only hear S1, S2. Okay, I'm gonna listen on the bell side just for any extraneous murmurs. Now, do you have any history of heart murmurs? Anyone in your family? Mom or dad? Okay. It sounds really strong. Okay, this animal is starting to eat my pencil. I'm going to put it aside right here. Okay. Sounds strong. Okay, I'm happy with what I'm hearing. So I'm going to listen to your lungs. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. So in, two, three, and then out, two, three, okay? So let's start in, two, three, and relax, two, three. All right, I'm gonna go on the other side. In, two, three, and relax, two, three. Okay. All right, this little one, she's looking on my stethoscope. It's making all sorts of funny sounds. All right, one more. In, two, three. And relax, two, three. All right, that's normal. 
I'm not hearing anything to be worried about. All right, so next one, I'll take your blood pressure. Just slide it up this arm, sweetheart. Please move. All right. She's just sitting right on top of your arm, so. Okay. So she's just trying to help. She's a little bit over helpful right now. Okay, go ahead and make sure those legs are uncrossed, okay? over 60, so that's not good. So we're definitely going to have to monitor that. It might be a reason why you fainted from low blood pressure. The nurse wasn't able to get to the blood pressure portion during the exam, and we've been monitoring your blood pressure, but it's been a little bit low. This is the lowest reading so far, so I'm a bit concerned. Okay. Definitely, we don't want you on your feet yet. So you're just gonna have to relax right there, okay? Can't have you walking around with low blood pressure, crashing into things, okay? How you feeling? You feeling dizzy? Okay, you feeling lightheaded? Okay, so you're feeling fine. Follow my fingers for me. I'll be checking your eyes in a bit, I just wanna see. Okay. Okay, well, that is curious. Okay, so next I'm gonna get your oxygenation. Just turning this on. Okay, and can I have your index finger? Right here. Okay. Your heart rate is 76 beats per minute. Your oxygenation is 99% at room air, so that's perfect. I'm gonna put that away. Okay, I'm gonna take your temperature. Your are you feeling hot in the head, feverish? Okay. When's the last time you traveled out of the country? Oh, you've never been, me neither. So that makes two of us, just checking. Make sure you don't have any foreign illnesses. Okay, just hold this right here. You're doing real good. Okay, 97.3, that's perfect. So that's good, your temperature's normal. Okay, you have enough oxygen in your blood. So it's just low blood pressure so far. Okay. Do you remember falling down? Okay, in the last week? Did you go to any kind of event where you were thrashing around a lot? You were running around like a dance club? All right. Did you go line dancing? Did you trip over? No? Okay. So no bumps, tumbling down the stairs, falling off a horse, crashing your carriage into someone else's carriage. Okay, I just need to ask these questions. I'm gonna check your head to make sure that you don't have a concussion. Um, you didn't receive one from your fall here. So if you do have one, it's from somewhere else. Okay, so just relax. I'm gonna just be feeling one on top of your head. Okay. I don't feel anything strange. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna press down right here. I do feel a little bit of a bump. I don't think that it's a concussion. I just think it's the natural curvature of your skull. I'm just a nurse, so I'm not completely sure. Um, but I wanna ask, when I press down on it, does it hurt? Any pain? Okay, what about here, any pain? Pain here, pain here. Pain here. All right, what about the side of your face? You feel any pain there? All right. Okay, so next I'm just gonna be checking you for lice, looking at your hair follicles. I'm gonna be palpating your face. 
And I'd like to ask, may I have permission to sit down on the bed right here? Thank you very much. It kind of hurts my back a little bit just to be leaning over like this. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm just going to start checking you for lice. I have this comb. It works really well. I'm going to be just brushing your head, okay? So just relax. I'm going to be combing through. Any itchiness on the head? Okay. Very good. Now, you don't have a lot of hair, so that's good for me. Okay, just brushing through right here. You're being such a good sport. Okay. So, I, I don't see any creatures here, do you? No. No bugs or fleas. Okay. So, that's good. I'm going to be palpating your face. So, close your eyes. I'm just checking for edema. So, close your eyes for me. Okay. Now let me know if you feel any pain. Okay, pain here. Pain when I press right here. What about your nose? Okay. And your right side. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press with two fingers. One on your left cheek, one on your right. Let me know if you feel the pressure equally, okay? Do you feel it equally? How about now? Good, how about now? Good, I'm, I'm going to just be going all the way up your face. Now? Okay, how about now? Good. Now? Feel it equally? Alright, good. So, now it's time to just do some percussions. So just stay still right there. I just need to check and make sure you're getting proper reflexes. So far, so good. That's good. Next, just to follow up on all this, I'm going to take some facial measurements. I'm going to be writing down just your basic metrics of the measurements on your face. Okay, so just stay right still for me. Don't you move. Okay, that's six inches over here. Now, this is just to gauge to make sure that you're not having a stroke. Because if you're having a stroke, I'm going to have different readings on each side. You're going to be looking droopy. And I want to find that out in my measurements. Even if it's, on, if it's on a minuscule level, it's good to catch these things early. Okay. So there's method to my madness. Okay. So this is also six inches. That's good. Six inches on the right side. Okay. Measuring your nose to your chin. Okay. Two, three, four, five. So four inches from the nose to the chinny chin. Four inches. Very good. I'm going to measure your forehead now. Okay, that's six inches. Six inch forehead. That's a mighty big forehead you have. But all the best models and movie stars have large foreheads, so I hear. Okay. And you got a three inch in width. Each side of the forehead, make sure that it's three inches on each side. Now, this is three inches here, three inches here. Very good. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna measure your eyeballs. I know that's kind of funny, it's about three quarters of an inch and a full inch here. It's okay if your eyes are not symmetric. Um, this way, but if they're not symmetric vertically, then that's when we have a problem. So I'm going to measure that right now. Okay. About a half inch here and a half inch there, so that's excellent. Okay. A couple more and I'll be finished. Okay, that's one inch. Okay. 
and we got on the right side. Okay, and here. Now stay still for me, okay? Don't make my job harder than it is. Okay, there we go. And there we go. That's good. Okay, so you said you weren't feeling any numbness. Okay, I'm going to do a few sensitivity tests just to make sure. Okay. This one, I'm sure you've heard of. It is a pressure point test. So, these are two pressure points I'm going to put on your face. You feel? Did you feel one or two pressure points? That was two. Alright, now this time, closing your eyes. I want to make sure that you can let me know how many you feel, one or two. Or if you feel more, go ahead and let me know that, but it's going to be one or two. Okay, try to be as accurate as possible. Focus, relax, close those eyes for me. No peeking, okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very good. Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, where'd you feel that? On what part of your face? Good, about right here. Okay, right here. Yeah, right here. That was one right here. Okay. All right, I think that you surpassed that test. You exceeded my expectations. Sometimes when you put these things closer together, it can be harder, but you got all those answers right. Okay. All right, now, this is going to be a sharper draw test. Okay, you feel this little tickle right here? Oh, you're ticklish. Okay, so sorry about that. Let me switch to something not as ticklish. Okay, let's try this. Okay. So that's going to be a dull sensation. This is going to be sharp, okay? It looks like a knife. It's not that uh, sharp as a knife. So go ahead and say sharp or dull, okay? Keep those eyes closed for me. Okay, you are naughty. You can't peek, okay? This isn't a test in school that you need to ace. I really need to know accurately what you can discern. So keep your eyes closed, okay? Yes. Yes. Very good. So you pass the sharper doll in the pressure point. I'm going to do one more. It's going to be a temperature test. Okay, so this is a little light. I, have, I use it for many purposes. Um, oh, looks like it just went out on me. Oh, there we go. All right. So when you feel it, it's going to feel warm. This is going to feel cold. Okay, you feel the difference? Okay, warm or cold? Close your eyes. Very good. Mm hmm. Yeah. Are you drifting off to sleep on me? That's okay. Okay, try to stay a little bit awake, but if you fall asleep, it's okay. All right, so you kind of passed that test, except for nodding off at the end. Now, now I want you to open your eyes, and this is a facial monotones test, so I'm gonna place my hand right here. You go ahead and turn your head where I tell you to go. 
So right now I want you to turn your head this way. Three, and resist my push. Try as hard as you can without, you know, popping your head off. Three, two, one. Very good. Any difficulty in doing that? Okay, let's do the other side. Three, two, one. Good. All right, now try to look up at the ceiling. Three, two, one. Good. Now chin to your chest. Three, two, one. Mm, good. Now raise those eyebrows for me. Okay, on the count of, count of three, try to lower them. I'm going to resist your push with my fingers. One, two, three. Good. Now make a really mean face like you're angry. And try to raise those eyebrows in three, two, one. Good. Smile for me as wide as you can. Okay, now frown for me with all your facial features. Was that hard for you? Not hard for you to smile because I'm a great nurse. That's a good answer. All right. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to look at your eyes and your ears next. Okay. Oh, here comes her little friend. She's back. Okay. I think she wants to be part of this test. So open your eyes for me, look straight ahead. I'm gonna come a little closer, just looking inside, making sure those pupils are round and reactive. And they are. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna look at the other eyeball. Look straight ahead. Okay, very good. Now, how many fingers am I holding up in total? Good. All right. Now, let me know which fingers are moving, the ones on your left or your right side. Next, we're going to do a peripheral test. So, my fingers are going to come into your field of vision. When they do, say now. Okay, good. All right, one both fingers, okay? So, not just one pair. Good. Okay, now let me know when my fingers leave your field of vision. Good. Mm hmm. Okay, very good. So, this here is a smelling chart. I'm sure you've seen this before. I want you to read this third row for me, or this fourth row. O L. Good. What about this uh, fifth row? Okay, that was a B. That wasn't an E. You might need to get your eyes checked. Okay, so. Looking at this row, I just want to check to make sure you're not having double vision. How many letters are right here? How many letters do you see on the third row? On the first row, how many letters? Okay, and how many letters on this last row? Can you read each one in order? Very good. Okay, and what color is this? Okay, what color is this? All right. Which circle is bigger, number nine or number seven? Good, number seven or number five? Number five or number three? Number three or number two? All right, good. I want you to try to read these two letters right here. Okay, read this row right here. All right. I'm gonna do something a little bit tricky now. Can you see this pattern? What is a predominant pattern here? Uh, color here. Sorry, what's the predominant color? That's gold. That's right. And then what would you say this color is right here? All right. Is it a dark red or a light red? Okay. What about these petals right here? Okay. These are brown. Mm-hmm. 
So you got that wrong. But this is hard to tell. Some people say it's like navy blue, but they're brown. And this leaf right here, what is it? Okay, I gave you a clue by telling you it was a leaf. So yeah, it's green. Good. Okay, one more. Okay. This band right here. Is it the same color or different color as this flower petal? Mm-hmm. Excellent. So you got good hearing. Your eyes look healthy. Nothing wrong going on there. I'm going to look at your ears now. Okay. All right. So now do me a favor and tilt your head this way. We'll look at your right ear first. Here's some panic membranes, pearl gray. That's nice. A little bit of scar in here. Did you go to a loud concert? Okay, how long ago was this? Alright, so 10 years ago. So that definitely wasn't the reason why you fell and you fainted. Now, 10 years ago when this happened, did you get a bump? Concussion? Okay, you didn't go to the doctor. Okay, just want to know for any underlying reasons. Alright, go ahead and move to the other side. I'm going to check the other ear. Okay, this one looks a little healthier. How's your hearing? Could be a little better. Okay. Well, your ear canals look healthy overall. You didn't have a lot of wax build up, so that's good. That can always get in the way. Okay. So, I'm going to be doing a tuning fork exercise. So this is a tuning fork. Okay, do you hear the sound? Good. I'm going to be ringing it. Let me know when it stops, okay? I do not think our little one liked that sound at all. Okay. I'm not going to use that tuning fork anymore because I think our little one was very, very upset by that. I'm so sorry, Cindy. I'm so sorry. We won't be playing that noise again. She's very sound sensitive as most dogs are. Okay, you just relax, honey. She did not like that sound. Well. So in lieu of that, I have this tuning fork. I'm gonna place it at different parts of your head. Okay? Let me know when the sound stops. You're gonna kinda hear it and feel it at the same time. All right, good. Say now. Well, I think the tuning forks are pure torture for Cindy, or at least they get, they get her agitated and going. So I'm going to stop that. You did good. I'm going to whisper some things in your ear, okay? So repeat exactly what you hear after me. Vacation. Puppy dogs. Swimming pools. Pine cone trees. Palm trees. Boats and planes. <laughs> Blood pressure. took off with my feather. Oh, Sandy, I think this is my feather. I don't think it'd be healthy for, for her to gnaw on this feather, do you? So we're going to put that aside, okay? Next, I'll just be checking up on, well, I've got to give you a smell and taste test, okay? Okay, so first is the smell test. This is my favorite part of any exam. I love smelling scents, okay? We got a whole bevy of them here. Okay, close your eyes. Let me know in the general sense what this smells like and no peeking at the label. You saw the label, didn't you? It was cedar. So I'm going to switch to something 
that you didn't see yet. I can tell that you like to play tricks, don't you? Okay. Okay. So this first one, this first one is going to be, okay, go ahead and smell. It was herb, it was rosemary. But if you're not familiar with rosemary, just say an herbal is okay. All right, and now tell me what this is, smells like. All right, geranium. That was a flower, so you're good on that. Just a couple more, just for fun. Okay, let's do, hmm. I like this one a lot. A lot. All right, go ahead and smell it. it. Smells so good. I like these kind of scents and candles. That's sandalwood. Good. Okay. And one more. This one's relaxing. Go ahead and smell. Lavender. Very good. You nailed all of those. I'm going to put them back in a little kit here. Okay. Okay, we're going to put that aside. So, so far, the only thing that I'm noticing is your low blood pressure. Everything else is going pretty well. Now, I have a couple things for you to taste. Go ahead and open your mouth. Say, ah, uh, what does that taste like? Vanilla. Yes. Okay, another one. Go ahead. Tell me what this tastes like. Salty. Got good. And one more. Mm, I saw your nose crunch up. It's lemon, so yeah, it was. It's a little bitter, but you did perfect on all those. I'm just gonna feel your chest right now. Make sure there's no protrusions. Okay. So go ahead and breathe normally for me. Okay, in and out. Good. Not any pain when I put pressure here. Okay. Pain when I put pressure here. Okay. Any pain here? All right. Okay, so I think your chest is good. I'm going to just do a few measurements here. Okay, that's 14 inches. And... Looks like neither side is ascended higher than the other. They're both congruent. There's some inches here. Okay, perfect. I'm going to be palpating your stomach now. May I peel back your blanket? Okay, I'm going to sit right here and I'm just going to feel your organs. Make sure that everything's in place. Okay. Uh-oh. Not my new comb, little critter. Okay. Come on. Okay. Relax for me. Okay. Okay, she's going to be helping. Sometimes she likes to help and needs all those patients. Sometimes she likes to help. So she's going to be helping. She's going to be helping. She's a little angel. She's a little angel of a helper. She came to us, came to this hospital straight from God. <laughs> straight from the heavens. She just sand it down on us, and she's just a little, a little angel. She can do no wrong. She's helping out. Now, Cindy, now, you've been helping. Can you tell us, um, can you tell us the size of our patient's um, liver. Is it normal? Is it hardened? Is it enlarged? What about a spleen? Okay, everything feels good to you? Okay. All the organs are intact. You want to look some more? Let's look some more. <laughs> Just to see if I hear some more. Sorry. Okay, <clears throat> let's look some more. Let's look some more. Let's help our patient out. Now, what do you think, Sandy? 
Do you have any analysis on the subject of the matter? Do you, can you tell whether the patient's diaphragm is proper in size? Can you tell if our patient is suffering from gastritis? Because you seem to be biting into the stomach lining. Okay, I think we're done with that. Okay. Next on one listen. Could just take a take a peek with, with my stethoscope. Well this is really extraneous sounds, okay? She's helping out with this one too, it seems. Okay. build up of the stomach fluids. Everything sounds real good. Okay. All right. Now, it might be a bit redundant to do a sensitivity test since you just got kind of bit in the stomach. Did you feel her bite in you? Was it pretty pronounced? Now, she was just nipping. Okay. No blood was drawn. She just likes to nip. But... I'm going to do a quick sensitivity test just to have it down for our records, okay? So, sharper doll. It's a sharper doll, okay? Sharper doll, all you can feel is the sharp talent, the sharp flop, uh, jaws of a little help or I know you feel anything doll, it's all pretty sharp, ain't it? Well, let's just say pass that test, okay? All right. So, so next, I want to take a look at your legs, okay? I'm just looking for any signs of swelling, okay? I'm just gonna pull up these pants. Sometimes they get, they kind of come down. Do you feel my squeezing equally on both legs? All right, you feel my squeezing equally on both legs? Okay, you feel my squeezing? Which ankle am I squeezing? Your left or your right ankle? All right, left or right ankle? Left or right? All right, good. All right. You are in trouble, Missy. You need to just settle down. Okay. So, or I'm on. <laughs> I'm on. Use a two and fork again. If you don't settle down. I think she knows just by looking at it. Okay. So. We're going to do a Binsky response test. I'm just going to be checking to make sure that your feet reflexes are right. Okay. It's arranging your feet. They seem to be going a little limp. Okay. Here we go. All right. Good. Nice feet. Now, which foot am I squeezing? Your left or your right? All right. Very good. Okay. I'm going to just take a look at the bottoms of your feet, making sure they're right in color, they're not turning purple. Okay, very good. Okay, am I squeezing the heels of your feet or the pads of your feet? Okay, heels or pads? Good, heels or pads? Excellent, okay. All right. So, we went ahead and did a full head-to-toe examination on you. It's still unclear as to why you passed out, why you fainted during your initial exam. We're gonna keep you here overnight, obviously. And we're gonna take your vitals again. We're gonna take your blood pressure again in about 20 minutes here, okay? I'm gonna leave and come back. And after that, then you have some time to rest. Um, do you have any relatives you'd like to contact? Okay, and what's her number? Okay, we'll go ahead and make a phone call and let her know what's going on. Okay, anybody else? Okay, and she can visit you tonight until about 9 p.m. So we'll arrange all that over the phone. Okay. So how else are you feeling? Any pain? No dizziness. Be honest with me. You don't have to be tough. Now's not the time to pretend to be strong. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you rest. Thank you for letting me come in and do this examination on you. I hope you feel better soon. And we're going to make sure you're ship shape before you leave the hospital today, okay? All right, have a good afternoon, okay? I'll see you real shortly in a bit, okay? All right, bye.